Hello guys, welcome to this brief tutorial. So, I received a question from one of my Patreons that was asking me um, uh, how to link different patches to a single uh, JIT window. So, have uh, like a master patch with a single JIT window output in which to mix uh, several uh, single visual patches. So, for example, you have created several uh, BJ patches that generate visuals uh, reacting to the music and you want to play them one after the other or mix them so uh, just play them in the same JIT window without switching uh, switching windows and uh, showing your mouse around so let's see how we can accomplish that there are a couple of ways in which we can do this uh, the way that I will show you in this tutorial is by using the shared attribute of the JIT word object so the JIT word object as a shared attribute, or if you are in Max 6, this attribute is on the JIT window. JIT window shared. And uh, this attribute means that now this context is being shared with other um, OpenGL contexts. So, for example, if I give two JIT word object the shared attribute, they can share resources. So, everything that is being rendered in the, these two contexts is being shared with one another. So this means that I can create a GGL texture in this patch, let's call this text zero, and put in, the te in this texture the content of the scene that is being rendered by the node, and then access the same texture. Let's create a new texture here. So, I can use a GGL texture message and uh, fill this texture with uh, this texture one. So fill text one with text zero, and the content of text zero will be uh, rendered, will be transferred inside the content of text one. This is possible because these contexts are shared. If I say shared zero with this JIT world, now this trick doesn't work anymore. If I say shared one, now this trick works again. So by sharing the context, we can um, use uh, what's being displayed inside the texture, inside the patch, into another patch. So. I can use this to uh, create a master patch for the visuals where I can also hide this window here and use this window as my master. So if you see here, I'm sending the contact, uh, the, the scene uh, captured from this GL node. I'm sending this to, to this uh, other patch. So if I switch now to the switch, the input tool of the switch object, I get the other image. So I can easily switch between patches and create so a master patch, put this full screen and then just switch between my different patches using simply a sender. Now I want to tell you something else. If I'm in the same patch and I want to display just one shape of the, uh, of the multiples that I have, so let's say that I want to create multiple scenes like I did, for example, in my work Alba, where I had uh, multiple, uh, less um, call them scenes, in which there were different objects being displayed on the screen in different times. So I had to create a system that would automatically enable and disable um, the shapes to be rendered. So there is, in fact, an enable attribute for the, all the OpenGL, almost all the OpenGL objects. So, for example, if I create a GGL grid shape. And, uh, yeah, sure, I have to say not 15. Oops. Okay, now there is my shape here that I don't really want to see in this moment. So I just say 
enable zero so now this shape is here or I can just display this one or I can display this one And so this is how you um, create multiple scenes inside one single patch. But if you want to mix patches, the shared attribute is the way to go. So yeah, that is it for this brief tutorial. I hope this was useful. I hope I answered the questions of my Patreon. And uh, see you to the next video, guys. Ciao.